It looks like Mitt Romney is still having some trouble understanding why he was unable to attract the Latino vote. The former presidential candidate refuses to associate his stance on immigration with his alienation of the Latino vote during the 2012 campaign. Romney told CNN that the reason he flopped among Latinos was that they, 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 they didn't understand the subtleties of his immigration stance. So, Zach, just how far off is Romney on this one? I, mean, I, I think self-deport isn't the most, I don't know, subtle term to use during a campaign stop. Yeah, right. I mean, this is what politicians say whenever they've lost a, an election. You know, the, the most common defense is, well, you know, my policies were all perfect, but we had some trouble communicating how awesome my policies were going to be to the public. And, yeah, I guess you're going to have trouble convincing, like, Latino voters that you like Latino people when you are endorsing self-deportation, which is a policy implemented in Arizona and Alabama, uh, the strategy of which is to make life so miserable for Latino people living here without proper documentation that they will just on their own decide to leave because it sucks so much to be in the United States. They'll flip over the dinner state. table at Thanksgiving that they're trying to celebrate because they've considered themselves Americans and say, F this, I'm out of here, I'm going home and just go back <laughs> right, across the border. Right. I, I give up, screw this, you know, I can't get a driver's license, I can't get a job, this is the worst, I'm going, I'm, I'm going home. Uh, you know, that, that's... Uh, that's that's not a particularly humane policy. That's not that doesn't indicate any sort of sense of like compassion or outreach or interest in wooing uh, people who are interested in this issue. Uh, and so, you know, it, it's possible that Mitt Romney didn't really understand what he was saying when he was using that conservative bus. I, I, he, I mean, he probably most certainly did understand it, Zach, right? It's just that he couldn't not say that and still obtain the nomination for the GOP presidential candidacy. I think and I think this was this was an issue that played out throughout Romney's campaign. It wasn't just a problem on immigration. You know, people really didn't know what Romney supported because he would be perfectly willing to say one thing to hardline conservatives and then say something else to moderate voters uh, and contradict himself. And and so what that left the public with was this perception that there was this kind of shifty politician guy who used to work on Wall Street who had a lot of money and had a low tax rate. And that didn't seem like a particularly appealing thing to vote for. And when, when you were done with all the contradictions, all you had was the guy's professional background and tax records. And that, those, those weren't really things that got people psyched. Um, so, you know, wh whether he understood it or not, uh, you know, I, I think, what, as you said, Mike, uh, pe people didn't have a whole lot of faith in, uh, in, in what, he was, what, what he was bringing to the table.